stylistically, I mean, it, it plays out good, you know, with both strikers. Lorenzo, I honestly believe he's yeah. going to take me down. As soon as I touch him, I push him a little bit, he's, he's going to go for the takedown. <laughs> College division on one wrestler. I'm not going to say I'm not going to take him down. I'm not going to say I am going to take him down. You know, if the opportunity is there, why, who, who wouldn't? It's MMA. I, I hope he trains kicking and grappling. The game plan for him is, is simple. You got to make him move backwards and keep pushing the pace. He's an exciting fighter, and I'm expecting uh, exciting things. If you ever watched Eric Silva fight, I've watched him fight a bunch of times, and that's a lot of motivation to know that that guy's going to be standing across the cage. Like, I don't know what this guy's going to try to do. He's wild as hell. Like, you know, he might throw a double spinning back foot kick or something. You know what I mean? Like, you don't know what this guy's going to do, when he's going to do it, why he's going to do it. Well, lógico que para toda luta a gente, qualquer atleta treina para para lutar nesse caso agora os cinco rounds. Uh, e a oportunidade que a gente vê, as brechas que a gente vê, quanto antes a gente terminar é melhor. Uh, e assim foi o meu treinamento. Eu fiz o meu treinamento para lutar cinco rounds sim. Every time, yeah, I'm the underdog, you know, because you know they 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 have all this hype behind them, but. Assuming he's an intelligent person, he's got to realize, you know, all this hype is not necessarily good for him and it's not necessarily true that he's got to put in the work. And, you know, if he put in the work, man, you know, he's an extremely dangerous guy. So uh, I know I put in the work. So if he put in the work, then we're going to have a hell of a fight.